On February 21, 1804, British mining engineer, inventor, and explorer Richard Trevithick debuted the first full-scale working railway steam locomotive in the Welsh mining town of Merthyr Tydfil. Following that debut, locomotives have been powered by a myriad of fuels, including wood, coal, and oil. Then, in 1913, diesel-powered locomotives hit the scene in Sweden, followed by the US in 1939, and continue to dominate the landscape today. In today's video, we will be showing you the invention of the steam locomotive. Without further ado, let's begin. Locomotives have evolved a great deal since their inception, becoming much more efficient and environmentally friendly over time. Let's take a look back at Union Pacific's history of locomotive use to see how they have developed into today's green powerhouses that can move one ton of freight 480 miles on a single gallon of fuel. A steam locomotive is a locomotive that provides the force to move itself and other vehicles by means of the expansion of steam. 80. It is fueled by burning combustible material, usually coal, oil, or, rarely, wood, to heat water in the locomotive's boiler to the point where it becomes gaseous and its volume increases 1,700 times. Functionally, it is a steam engine on wheels. In most locomotives, the steam is admitted alternately to each end of its cylinders, in which pistons are mechanically connected to the locomotive's main wheels. Fuel and water supplies are usually carried with the locomotive, either on the locomotive itself or in a tender coupled to it. Variations in this general design include electrically powered boilers, turbines in place of pistons, and using steam generated externally. First was the evolution of the railroad the combination of the steam locomotive and a permanent travelway of metal rails. Experiments in this conjunction in the first quarter of the 19th century culminated in the Stockton and Darlington Railway, opened in 1825, and a further five years of experience with steam locomotives led to the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, which, when it opened in 1830, constituted the first fully timbered railway service with scheduled freight and passenger traffic relying entirely on the steam locomotive for traction. This railway was designed by George Stevenson, and the locomotives were the work of Stevenson and his son Robert, the first locomotive being the famous Rocket, which won a competition held by the proprietors of the railway at Rainhill, outside Liverpool, in 1829. The opening of the Liverpool and Manchester line may fairly be regarded as the inauguration of the railway era, which continued until World War I. During this time, railways were built across all the countries and continents of the world, opening up vast areas to the markets of industrial society. Locomotives increased rapidly in size and power, but the essential principles remained the same as those established by the Stephensons in the early 1830s. Horizontal cylinders mounted beneath a multi-tubular boiler, with a firebox at the rear and a tender carrying supplies of water and fuel. This was the form developed from the rocket which had diagonal cylinders, being itself a stage in the transition from the vertical cylinders, often encased by the boiler, which had been typical of the earliest locomotives, except Trevithick's Penny Darren engine, which had a horizontal cylinder. Meanwhile, the construction of the permanent way underwent a corresponding improvement on that, which had been common on the preceding tram roads, wrought iron, and eventually steel. Rails replaced the cast iron rails, which cracked easily under a steam locomotive, and well-aligned track with easy gradients and substantial supporting civil engineering works became a commonplace of the railroads of the world. Steam locomotives were first developed in the United Kingdom during the early 19th century and used for railway transport until the middle of the 20th century. Richard Trevithick built the first steam locomotive, known to have hauled a load over a distance at Penny Darren in 1804 although he produced an earlier locomotive for trial at Colebrookdale in 1802. Salamanca, built in 1812 by Matthew Murray for the Middleton Railway, was the first commercially successful steam locomotive. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.